Paul Funhauser organized a rally near the gates of Rikers Island on November 8th. The rally was formed to educate the community on mass incarceration as well as juvenile detention. child prisoner. When I say I am a child prisoner, it's because I'm still under the custody and control of the state. Uh, I was sentenced to life as a child of 16 years old. Uh, because of the abuse and the torture that I suffered in the, the American prison system, I have uh, renounced citizenship a number of times. I have uh, sought refuge in at least three countries. I have uh, asked for asylum in Cuba, and all is to no result because in this country, the rights of anyone convicted of a crime have absolutely they have absolutely no regard for them because that person under the U.S. Constitution, the Thirteenth specifically, defines that person as a slave of the state. Demonstrators spoke on their personal experiences at Rikers as well as changes that need to be made within the prison system. One of their major issues discussed is banning the unethical practice of solitary confinement. It's an incredibly racist system. I was one of a handful of white folks that I met my entire time in there. Um, your body is literally not your own. When they say strip, you strip. When they say pee, you pee. Um, the lights are on all of the time, even during hours of sleep. Um, you can get salmonella from the chicken, the bread is moldy. Um, a stomach ulcer can lead to your death as you're waiting up to five days to be able to see a doctor, to get in to get see a doctor. Women, uh, there have been reports that women have been made to trade sexual favors in order to receive medications in a timelier manner. Um, there is a gynecologist that is known to be overly handsy with the women, I myself was a victim of this. Um, I mean, literally a woman like moved towards her death right in front of me in a way that if the prisoners had not organized for her, I mean, she was vomiting up blood, pieces, chunks of her liver, she was going into organ failure and the medical staff uh, denied to take her to the hospital. Um, when we did finally get her down to the clinic and say, you have to take her to the hospital, she's covered in her own blood. And, you know, the doctor said, you call this a medical emergency. She died two days later in the hospital. We say no solitary for anybody at Rikers. Right. We want an end to solitary confinement for all because it is inhumane and it is a form of torture. Power. I say people, you say power. People. Power. People. Power. People. Power. People. Power. When you I want have people to being tortured and right across the bridge over there and you can't hear them, you must speak out. When, you know, when people were enslaved, great, people enslaved 104 years ago in this country, brave people spoke out. And if you look at people when didn't speak out, when people didn't speak out, the Holocaust, people were slaughtered. So you must prevent that. So I think I'm here with brothers and sisters, comrades, who have a, uh, share a similar understanding that what's going on in there is a grave evil and it must be stopped. And what's going on across the country, this whole occurrence, and it's tied to a social political context, that we must attack that and we must have concrete demands here right today.